What's up guys? Now in today's Go High Level tutorial, I will walk you through step by step on how to actually use High Level as a complete beginner. We are going to go over all of the important settings and features needed to understand to then actually use High Level for literally anything. No matter if you plan on using it for landing pages or plan on building a full CRM inside High Level, this video has you covered. So let's get started by heading over to the link down below. By doing so, you are going to receive an extensive standard 30 day free trial as well as tons of other bonuses including a live bootcamp, full on landing page templates from my side and a lot of other great stuff. So once right here make sure to put in your personal information and then head over to the next step. You are then going to have the option to either choose between the starter or the unlimited plan. Now this may be confusing because high level actually does offer three different pricing plans. Let me explain you them because this is actually really important to understand. Now as for the cheapest plan, the starter plan, with this you are going to right away receive access to all of the features inside Go High Level. This is important to understand, you aren't going to be limited in terms of features. Rather the downside of this plan is that you can basically only create three different separate sub accounts and you can't really customize the interface. So this option only makes sense if you plan on using High Level for your own business. If you however run an agency or any other business where you do need multiple separate sub accounts for the companies or clients which you are managing then you would have to go for the unlimited plan. Right here you are going to receive unlimited sub accounts as well as some customization options. For example you can change the logo, colors and so on. However if you do want to fully white label high level and basically build your own SaaS on top of all of the features then you can also go for the SaaS Pro plan. This by far is the best option to make money on high level right now if you ask me as you can basically resell high level onto your customers with your own branding with your own app and so on. Either way I will also leave you a link to this exact pricing page down below. Once you've then put in all of your information you can sign up for the live webinar and you will then have to go through the questions which high level is going to ask you. Right now we currently are on the agency dashboard. Think of this as the admin panel of your high level account. Here you can manage your sub accounts, install add-ons and do a lot of other stuff. Get started by heading over to the settings on the bottom left. We can change stuff like profile, billing, integrations right here. If you would for example want to white label high level with your own logo, head over to company, then select white label and add your own logo right here. You can then also add custom domains, custom javascripts and you can change the style of your high level account inside right here. One thing which is important to also do inside the settings is to actually set up your Stripe connection. Make sure to connect your Stripe account right here so that you can then later on take payments and so that you have everything set up. And let's now actually continue by adding a new sub account onto our high level dashboard. We can do this by heading over to the sub accounts feature on the left and by clicking on add new sub account on the top right. We can actually use a pre-made snapshot or we can just start from scratch, which is what I'm going to do for today's video. We can then either pick the business inside Google Maps or we can just add all of the info manually. Then insert the first name, last name, all of the info and so on. And you can then create your sub account. You can then either just click on switch to sub account view or you can always see all of your sub accounts on the top left by clicking on the click to switch button right here. The dashboard is then going to be filled with all sorts of different information regarding the sub account. We can head over to conversations, but let's actually get started by navigating to contacts. Let me show you how to import and manage your contacts. See me just select import contacts right here, select contacts, and you can then actually insert a CSV file. This is the industry norm and this is super useful if you are, for example, migrating from another kind of email marketing provider. So make sure to simply just insert your CSV, on the next step you will then have to map all of the columns to the correct field inside Go High Level. So in this case the first name is going to be the first name field. Perfect. Usually High Level automatically does a pretty good job with this. Make sure to just double check this, select on import and then go on with the next step. Make sure to just click on I confirm all contacts and you can then actually start your bulk import. 
You can then actually view all of the imports right here and you can always open them up. This is going to give you an in-depth overview of everything going on. You can even send out full-on emails inside here. You can view all of the activities on the right. You can actually see the tasks. You, you can basically see anything in, inside right here. You can even actually create full-on CRM actions by simply just heading over to the opportunities tab on the left and you can basically add a CRM action. You can add this onto an automation. And this is why high level is so powerful. You can do everything at one place. So let's for example get started by setting up our CRM. Head over to opportunities on the left and we will have to get started by adding a new pipeline onto this. Create a new one, add your pipeline name and after you've did so you will then actually also have to go over all of the stage names. I'm just going to go with new and let's actually then also add, yeah let's just add prospecting, negotiation maybe and then just click on save right here. Now, once we've added this, this usually takes a couple of seconds. Now this has been added and we can head back to the opportunities tab. This is now going to give us an overview of all of the different stages and of our CRM essentially. We can add a new opportunity right here, where we can then actually also select any of the contacts which we already have. We can then add the opportunity details, like how many, how much value this opportunity has and basically everything else inside right here. But let's actually navigate to marketing for now. Let's head over to campaigns and right here you could then for example set up email campaigns. You can set up email snippets inside right here and you can basically do anything marketing related under the marketing tab. Now sadly we cannot go in depth into all of the tools right now as that would be way too long for this video and the goal of this video is to give you an overview and an introduction to go high level. But I've previously made tutorials about all features inside high level. I will just leave you a playlist and the links down below so you can just choose the feature which you're interested in like email marketing for example and you can then watch the in-depth explanation down below. But let's actually go over the sites builder right now. You do have funnels, websites, stores, webinar and basically anything related to sites inside right here. This is a super important feature which you're always going to need. So let me actually give you an introduction. So first things first, I've actually loaded in my funnel template which you guys can also get by simply signing up to go high level with my link. We do have a green version right here as well but I'm just going to go with the blue default one. I'm going to click on edit. Of course you can also start with a blank page if you want to but let me actually demonstrate you how the editor is going to work like. So first off this actually once it's loaded up this is a drag and drop editor you can just select any of the elements right here you can then change the text so I'm just going to put in this can be changed as an example and you can then basically repeat this with all of the different text settings inside this funnel template. As you can see this template is really in depth. Also whenever you are going to open up any element you can find all of the settings on the right. This is going to include the general settings like the styling but also advanced settings and also animation stuff. So whenever basically selecting an element you can find the settings on the right. Let's for example change this button right here. Let's scroll down. As you can see right here we can change the text option we can also add a subtext and we can then actually also change the button action but in this case i'm just going to leave this as pop-up and we can then find the pop-up on the top left right here under the pop-up settings simply just open this up and right here we can add new rows depending on what we like to add and let's for example integrate a form onto this you can view this right here now as of right now we haven't added any forms yet so let's actually let's actually head over to the forms editor you can also find this under the sites tab on the left and then create a new form. This is actually really easy. You of course also have quite a lot of different templates available which you can also use. But either way, right here you can then see your form. You can change the fields, you can change the button, you can change the color, you can basically change everything inside right here. So I'm just going to change this to something bluish. I'm going to save it. And after a couple of seconds, we can now actually integrate this form onto our Go High Level site. It's as easy as that. You can then actually also set up your info products inside high level. Simply just head over to memberships on the left and right here then first of all you can set up a course like you can probably imagine. Now I think this course feature actually works really well. I personally also use this to host one to two of my free courses because I, ju I just think that this is a super nice way of actually giving out your course both paid as well as free. Alternatively you can actually also set up communities and groups inside school uh, inside go high level 
I'm saying school because this communities and groups feature actually works really similar to school. It does have a near identical interface and you can then actually even use the GoColob marketplace to basically post your community on there and to get traffic from other people from the marketplace. You can also give our certificates and essentially you can add all you can create all sorts of different info products that you want to inside right here. All right, now the next thing which I do quickly want to mention is that you can also set up reputation management. So you can, for example, change up the reviews. You can send out review requests automatically. You can set up widgets. You can basically do everything regarding reputation inside right here. And you can also view the reporting stats for your Google ads, Facebook ads, and so on inside right here. So this is mostly going to be for accurately tracking everything to see the cost per conversion and so on. However, in my opinion, the by far best feature inside Go High Level, without a doubt, is going to be the automation feature. I intentionally left this one uh, last because I just think this one is the most important one. So let's actually create a new workflow. With this automation feature, you can basically automate certain parts of your whole company. Like, let me, let's for example look at this template right here. I'm just going to select this and this is then going to be used. Now, this is how this is going to look like. I'm, a, I'm sure most of you are probably familiar familiar with basic email marketing or basic marketing automations. However, this right here honestly is a game changer. You can right here see the trigger. This is just the form submitted. You can also add other triggers as you can see uh, right here on the right, basically anything here which you can imagine. And the big upside of Go High Level is that as for the actual actions, as for the actual stuff which this can do, you are going to have basically unlimited amount of options. And Go High Level actually also in integrates with ChatGPT with OpenAI so you can re even automatically put out prompts you can then use the data and you can basically automate a lot of workflows like this by basically incorporating AI onto your workflows and this honestly is a no-brainer if you ask me you can see all sorts of other actions right here you can automatically create appointment notes update appointment status and so on you can also send out invoices send out estimates and you can basically do everything inside go high level and actually the very last feature I did forget to mention is on go high level you can under uh, uh, under calendar right here you can then actually also set up a fully working booking calendar similar to a tool like calendly for example where then people can actually schedule a meeting with you all done automatically through go high level so I hope this video actually gave you an introduction and overview into Go Heidel. I will make an in-depth tutorial and course in the future, so make sure to like and subscribe to not miss out on that, and make sure to get your extended high-level free trial with the link down below.